Hi guys, uh, one of the things that stresses me out a fair bit is when people ring up wanting to buy an ECU. Uh, it'll be a fly-by-wire car or drive-by-wire, whatever you want to say, uh, and they want to pull the fly-by-wire off to put a cable back on because, quote unquote, the fly-by-wire has too much delay. Let's have a bit of a think about this. So in a factory car, you've got a factory ECU and factory theory on how to tune the drive-by-wire. So the factory guys have to look after things like emissions, uh, drivability, drivetrain warranty. I've even heard about uh, different countries require different uh, mapping for the throttle because of the way people drive in different countries. So you've got all these inbuilt things that the factory guys have to take uh, into account. Uh, and in some cars, and I've driven them too, where the, the throttle just feels really laggy, really doughy, the car won't go when you want it to go that's a factory system. Once you move over to the aftermarket system for your race car, the aftermarket electronics, we generally don't worry about any of those things. So you can program or tune the response of the pedal to uh, your situation or what you want to do. Now you've got to think about things like uh, throttle blipping on down changes of the throttle. That has to happen really, really fast. And trust me, the aftermarket ECUs can do it. It's not a problem with the uh, little motor on the throttle body itself, it's the programming of the factory one. So that's the thing you always need to take into account. So what I'm gonna do today is I've got my car, it's a uh, AE86 with a turbo 4AG and I've put fly-by-wire on it. Everything I do has fly-by-wire, bar none. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some experiments just to see how much lag there is in these uh, electronic throttles. could look at this on the laptop screen, but the ECU can log this stuff a hell of a lot faster than I can look at it on the screen. So download the logging, we can do some analysis, hey? So what did I learn? I put my data into uh, Motec i2 Pro. Uh, I'm going to show you some screen captures. Uh, what I've done is I've tried to make this a little bit more relevant to the average Joe. So uh, each of the screen captures, the time width is the blink of an eye. So about 300 milliseconds. So everything I'm sort of going to do is I'm going to refer to more or less as like a percentage of a blink of an eye. The red trace in this is the actual throttle butterfly movement and the blue trace is what my pedal does. How fast can I move my foot? Well, I can go from fully off the pedal to fully on the pedal as quickly as I can at about 30 milliseconds. So that's 9.6% of a blink of an eye. And what we're trying to investigate tonight how long does it take the throttle to actually start moving from when I hit my foot on the pedal? Well, that's a total of 13 milliseconds. So that's 4.3% of a blink of an eye. That's pretty quick. So finally, how long does it take the throttle to catch up once I get my pedal all the way to the floor? Well, that's about 63 milliseconds, uh, or about 21% of a blink of an eye. Now, that's not the delay from when I press the throttle until something happened. After 13 milliseconds, the engine's starting to accelerate. So it's just the throttle catching up at the last little bit. And 21%, I mean, man, that's not very long at all. So you know what I did next? I figured on my laptop, there's got to be tons of data on people moving their foot on and off the throttle. So I looked at V8 supercar drivers, I looked at drift guys, I looked at burnout guys, I looked at drag racing guys. You know what I couldn't find? Anyone needing to move their foot from fully off to fully on in 30 milliseconds. It's just not necessary. So the whole lag thing is pretty much irrelevant because no one's needing to move their foot monumentally fast anyway. So the little bit of squidginess that you get on the factory stuff that's the factory guys, not the aftermarket guys, okay? And for you cable throttle guys, any slack in the cable? Well, that's lag too.